Oh, hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today we are in Miami at the 305, and I got my guy with me. What's, What's up, up? He What's flew on? all the way down from Brooklyn, New York, man. Did you just fly to JFK? I did. Boom! Came out of JFK, <laughs> and he's here. Here in Miami, man, we're here at Osme Perfumery for the event. But we're here to talk to y'all about this today. And if we're in Miami, we have to smell Killian's Miami Vices collection. I love the way you taste. It's just called Love the Way You Taste, but I, I think I like the name. I love the way you taste a lot better than Love the Way You Taste. <laughs> Boom. So have you ever smelled this before? I have not. Okay. So I'm spraying this for the first time ever in my life. Ever. I do know the brand, of course, Exclusive. but. Exclusive. Love the way you taste. Oh, that's a little out there, that name, but. <laughs> So what do you get? <laughs> a wet nose. A wet nose. It's a. Uh, it smells like like a like a gin and tonic kind of drink. Yes. So it's made to have that mojito type yeah, yeah. of vibe. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it so, smells like a right. like a cocktail. Right. So it's sparkling. To yeah. Me. But the only thing I don't like about this fragrance, before we talk about the nose and everything, is the fact that. It's made to like take this with you, right? So yeah. he's like, hey, you're gonna be in Miami, you wanna live throughout the day, and you wanna bring a box. So it doesn't come with that standard box or buffet, whatever okay. you call it. Um, but it comes with a little bag for you to travel around with it. So it lasts about four hours on my skin. This is in the family to me of uh, Black Run Rocks. Okay, yeah. That kind of fresh, kind of. It doesn't seem very killian ish to me. Right, right. So when I think of Killian, I think of sexy, seductive, black phantom, yeah. intoxicated. That's the, the main type of vibe for me. Um, back to black, back to black, after this, yes. right? Those type of fragrances. This one is a little bit different, but I think it was necessary, at least for people like me, black and white that we're here in the great old state of Florida. It's perfect for this muggy ass weather that yes. you have here. So uh, I could see this not lasting very long, so probably around four to five mm -hmm. album up for you. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. I don't, I don't dislike it, but it, I usually like the more dense and thick right, compositions from these companies. Yeah, like when I think of Killian, right, and the fragrances that do well, it's particularly well for me, the ones that I like the most, Black Phantom, right, um, Intoxicated, those darker, heavier mm -hmm. scents. That, that's that's the lane right there. Um, and then obviously Apple Brand is a solid. That's one of my favorites. Totally love that one. Right. Question. Yes. We did Dark Lord last year. Yep. How did you wind up living with that one? Um, it doesn't get warm. It does not get warm. I think I tried it out once just for, for the sake of trying it out, but it's it's terrible. It's trash. I did a Killian event recently, and um, the person who was running it told me that the inspiration for that fragrance was when Killian was a younger kid, mm -hmm. he would be with his grandfather in the castles or his father, and they would sit by the fire, and he would have... Um, Smoke a cigar? Yeah, that so, makes sense. That makes sense. Like when I smelled that, like I said, look to my wife that this she she's into those medieval type of times. Mm -hmm. Like, like that, that smells like back in those yeah. days. And that makes sense. I even said it when we up there. Like if you put yourself in that type of mind frame, then you know, it can smell okay, but not something that I'm interested in here. One more fun fact. The video that we did last year it was uh uh what the hell? Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo Blue. Blue, right. Yeah. Somebody commented on it yesterday, ironically. Right. Like okay. nobody's commented on that video in months, but yesterday, the day before we get together, I thought it was cool. So shout out to whoever you were for commenting. Man, I'm here with my guy, Carlos, man. It's always great to see you, sir. Likewise. All right. Oh, maybe I'll come to New York one of these days. You must. I'll show you around town. You know, I, I'll tear, be we tear up the city, make it happen, <laughs> happen. All right, man, so as always, I'm your boy, Big B and B. I got Carlos with me. Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, hit the goddamn bell. Hit the goddamn bell. <laughs>